Hi guys, uh, I uh, made an interview with the, I think it's the most important guy in the Japanese MMA. Uh, it's uh, Fumihiko Ishii, he's a um, uh, uh, take care of career of uh, Kyoji Horiguchi, Kazuki Tokudomi uh, and a lot of Japanese fighters. Uh, how's it going? Uh, talking about their, my fighters, uh, they're in very good conditions and ready to fight this weekend. And of course, this is a home country for them, so they want to make sure you know they can perform well. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, this is a, I think is a third third event of UFC in Japan. Uh, how how uh, do you analyze the, the 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 hard work of UFC around the world, especially in Japan? I think kind of mixed back from my point of view. You know, some core fan still like to see the fight card. You know, like this this sort of event is very interesting. They have a total of twelve match, and I do believe that uh, except one fighting you know Japanese versus non-Japanese, uh, we treat Maximo as a Japanese fighter. Then only one main card. I mean, the the main event is the Mark Hunt versus Roy Nelson. Which is not session. a Japanese guy. Yeah, not Japanese. That's the only match. Uh, you know, non-Japanese versus non-Japanese. So this card is very interesting compared to before. And so some people look at this as a very good, interesting match, particularly core fans, like Gomi versus... Uh, uh, Miles Jury. Yeah, that's one of the best cards from my point of view, because the uh, Miles has a clean record of 14. 14 so, and all. Yeah. It's undefeated. Exactly. And Yang, you know, when uh, Gomi was Pride Champ, he was high school kids. So it's many, you know, many people are talking about interesting matchup because of, you know, age difference, a new generation uh, compared to the, you know, Pride era. So people look at a very interesting fight, of course, you know, Misha Tate versus Linda Rina Kai. Kai. Rina Kai, is a, it's huge for here. Yes, Ian. and 16 and old, and Misha is number two. In the in UFC UFC. rankings. So very interesting fight card. But at the same time, some people are a little bit frustrating about match card because some people are expecting to see more UFC rather than Japanese fighter advice or something. So it's kind of mixed back, but very interesting. Uh, we talk about. Uh, do you think uh, it's it's not a UFC problem? I think, but uh, do you think it's uh, the Japanese MMA uh, not have a, a big idol to to made uh, a main main uh, main event in, in this country? Uh, do you think uh, the fighters need to promote too much, too, too much, too little bit more, or, or something like that? I think uh, one of the challenge the last we we'll say five six years is the when we had a pride here. TV station was helping promotion and the, the fighter to build up their fame here. You know, basically there are some stars in Japanese MMA, but today it's very difficult. You know, people may say Kyoji Horiguchi could be an upcoming star, but popularity-wise speaking, cannot compare when Gomi fought in Pride because of TV network. So that is a big challenge, but. Uh, the other hand, uh, more global coverage, you know, uh, you're coming from Brazil, but still some fans are paying attention to uh, Kyoji Horiguchi, which very much appreciate. So I think the, if you look at the Japanese MMA, uh, it's a little bit uh, slow compared to uh, five, six years ago, you know, when we had pride. But if you look at the global point of view, I think there are some expansion because many Japanese fighters start to fight outside the country and uh, you know many uh, non-Japanese fans there and uh, how do you think about the the your fighter especially Horiguchi Horiguchi is a very talented guy now he's he dropped to to uh, to the the Johnson's division and uh, do you think he'll have a potential to be a champion uh, someday of course that's what we expected and he, he has a very unique style compared to other fighters. He started karate at five years old and he was competing. You know, he's kind of life from five years until today. He's competing somewhat like in karate or MMA. So his mentality 
mental the mentality is very strong and he can prepare well for the fight. So I believe that the Kyoji can make some progress and uh, can climb up the, uh, the ladder to be a champion. That's what we are expecting. And uh, the, what we need here in Japanese MMA scene is we need to have a star. We need to have a champion. Like uh, Ronda Rousey and John Jones, exactly. something like that. Exactly. So for instance, like female MMA, right? Do you think, do you think uh, 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 Ring Nakai have a, a, a trick to, to do that? Uh, I think the major difference is this is the first time for Ring Nakai to fight global organization other than small Japanese organizations such as Pancras. So this is a very fast step for Ring to be in the cage. And of course other female fighter uh, is fighting in uh, in Victor and the other you know non-Japanese promotion. But this could be a huge step for Japanese female MMA history, I believe. Yeah, talking in the huge step, uh, maybe the next year UFC made a, a, a very big interesting uh, partnership with Shudo uh, uh, and uh, sh uh, sorry and uh, Valley to Japan and uh, made a, 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 a version of uh, of tough uh, the Ultimate Fighter some uh, to the Japanese community. Uh, do you think uh, this uh, television program can uh, do good things to Japanese and teach? Uh, 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 no, no, not hardcore fans. Hardcore fans to 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 uh, know the this is sporting. Yes, of course. Right now, you know what we need to have. But there are some components to be required. One is good fighter, good athlete. The other one is good promoter or good promotion. And one more part is the how they can expand their you know uh, visibility or you know promotion, which is TV network. So once we get a TV network deal, or you know somebody can get TV network deal, so we have a three important component to expand the business. So I think this could be a very very critical for Japanese MMA to grow next step. And uh, 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 how uh, how do you expect expect about the the next uh, next event in the Saturday because uh, the the event. Uh, have a, a a good sale, but uh, you you talk you talk about the, the not have a star, but uh, do do expect that the the fights uh, in general could be a lot of fun and the the show the the show to the people the Japanese uh, MMA is really strong and will be compete the against an, another countries. Yes, yes. Like as I said, you know, kind of mix back. If you look at the matchup, very interesting, right? Japanese versus non-Japanese. So many people want to see what happened, what may happen between Japanese fighters and the non-Japanese fighters. And hopefully, you know, of course, uh, Japanese fighter can win more than the non-Japanese fighter. At least, you know, they can show the pro and uh, the good performance and a good show and a good result. Then people start paying more attention. If all of the Japanese fighters lost the fight, then people pay less attention to this. So, uh, of course, the Japanese fighter to win the fight is also one of critical factor to support the Japanese MMA. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, we, uh, if, if you can uh, send a message for uh, the this fans, because I think if you want to to talk in Nihongo, not from us. <laughs> no, we always appreciate the, the fans, particularly in Brazil, because uh, all of Brazil matches artists. Fans are treated like Japan is uh, the kind of history of martial arts and treat us very well. So we very much respect all of fans in Brazil. So hopefully our fighter can perform very well in USC this weekend. Thanks for all your support. <laughs>